From the things we've seen so far, the world seems... somewhat deadly, but at the same time, quite not, because this is a happy-go-lucky, family-friendly... Who am I kidding? It was nice seeing Toma turn up, well, you know, pre-personality enema. Will he actually go throughout the entire thing with people not realising that he's had his entire memories erased? That's not for us to think about, because this is Railgun, and we're focusing on the Beardy Biddy herself, so... With petty criminals being taken down by judgement, and I think there's going to be something else on the horizon. I'm stealing myself for that, and I want to see it. Let's get yourself a drink, and let's begin. The grand old time of running around a track. It's nice to know that even in a world where people can teleport around, they still have to do general physical fitness education stuff. Can you manage to do at least one? Almost. So close. Hopefully this time that is just completely normal refreshments. Everyone is built for different different things, and it seems like the Flower Girl is more of a support role. I'm trying to think where this... Is, is it a flashback? More just a... Showing the early years of those and what, how it would... Uh, come back to help out the storyline. So, I still can't really remember her name. But the teleport girl has been in the judgement, taking down criminals for quite a few years. It is a useful ability, at least. No one can really run out, run away. And in the comments, people have been saying that this is a slow build towards the the plot, but when it hits No way I was going to read all of that or even half of that I haven't really been into the middle of the city for a while, but there are cameras everywhere. A random car alarm, that could be something. Uh, I was about to say, it, it could be just his car. My alarm goes off sometimes, but no, the window is broken as well. Call him back up anyway.
Hmm. She hasn't done a full sweep of the area just to make sure. Crap. Is the fact that you let her get hurt now go, oh no, the one of the flowers come off. You're going to spur her to be better? Yeah, she just cooked, took a quick concrete nap. Was it entirely her, though? She did warn you. <laughs> Stand up for yourself, girl. So she doesn't really learn her lesson. They weren't in any rush to leave. And that would be a reference back to what we were seeing at the beginning. It's not her fault, she has a faulty memory. She's in a good mood this morning. <laughs> That's what you're here. <laughs> She's not really reacting like the uh, usual. Getting a bit close. She's got things on her mind. She has... When she's upset, she gets very focused. Just be just because uh, things get a bit tough doesn't mean you can quit and run away. Without in any intervention of any sort, it will just work out. I like that thinking. It means you don't have to do anything yourself. Oh, it's... Mm. I wondered what the noise was. It'd be really easy to study, wouldn't it? <laughs> Maybe you do a little reflecting at least... Try to remember what that promise was. Backstory. Let's get some backstory. Why were those two 
Mr. Like a high school girl, so well, loving her walking past. Because you're like ten. Do they really want to just throw them into the tough work straight away? She could easily, as it's been shown so far, have a superiority complex over others and turn down a path of slight darkness. I saw that robot under the desk. And considering we're now in a in a bank and it's talking about how they met doing judgment stuff. Always, still with the, the good face reactions. I feel like you have a different view of the school. Apparently. Never catching a break just because you're being labelled as something strong, you must be an asshole. And he's got an earring. That's the sign of trouble. <laughs> Yep, nothing suspicious. Yeah, I was right. They're in a bank. Talking about a situation. Didn't have as much time as he thought. Oh, he has more than one A-ring. Oh, no. The thing is, it, it's... Sure, you can defeat the criminal here who has a gun, but there are civilians who could easily get hurt. And she's already made the mistake where she underestimated how many there are before. Now he's got a hostage. And didn't little robot thing react to a gunshot? Does it only react to people using powers? Lock it down. Yeah, what is his ability? 
And the issue is he's got a hostage. Did the robot not see that? Okay. So she got a head wound and what looked to be shrapnel in her back, but the shrapnel was in her bag. Ow. And much like reality, there's loads of people around who could potentially do something, but probably in their best interest, they don't. How do you... Well, he blasted the robot away, so he could probably escape through the shutters easily. Teleport! Yep. So it seems. Quite a useful way of getting uh, hostages out, but now that he knows that, he's going to use it to his advantage. Oh! So she's at that stage of her ability. Couldn't she then hold him and teleport him to the ceiling so he falls? And just do that a few times. You can tell this was a, a different time because there's no, no bulletproof glass around the bank tellers. Hmm. That's actually kind of cool. But is it limited to just those ball bearings, or can he move something big? <laughs> she hasn't really learned too much in the years. Just managed to up her skill level slightly. I guess a good speech, but... But what he showed didn't have any power, didn't have speed, but did you think that would be... Ah. They can't travel at the same speed if there's nothing to travel! <laughs> And what, put him 200 feet in the air? That'd be a good deterrent.
A uh, nice little save there. But the thing is, she did just fire her railgun thingy towards the uh, the post office workers there. <laughs> towards the counter. She has drive. You give it. We have to give her that much. So yeah, you can understand why she was ever so slightly annoyed about uh, about her forgetting this interaction. And did it play out exactly as she stated there? Normally when... Normally when people retell stories, they do it in a, a way to make themselves look better in a certain light. Of course. Repeat her own words back to her. Sometimes you don't need to deal with some things head on. Just get the uh, the idea of what you mean across. I can't tell if that's a nice sky or not. Have we seen what the level one girl's ability is? Or, or is she level zero? I think Uraharu is level one and then the other one is level zero. Is she... You know, it's it would be kind of difficult to overcome a personality trait like being rash and charging in, especially when she's so focused on both, like, proving herself and a sense of justice. But you'd hope that hurting bystanders or getting them hurt in the process might at least be a pause for thought. And why would a uh, evildoer tell you what their ability was other than just trying to intimidate? If you're trying to intimidate, pretend that it's something much more grandiose and dangerous than what it actually is. And how much crime happens in this city where several times now they can be in the right place at the right time just be like oh evildoers we have to stop those i live in a relatively big city and i don't believe i've been in the same vicinity as even so much of a shoplifter let alone several armed gangs and uh some post office war robbery but it is good to see a bit more of that character without her obsessive traits shining through. 
At the minute, we've seen her as kind of like the stock, sweet, nice character. I kind of want to see how they evolve her in the future and what we get to see. And if you want to embark on that journey as well, you best come back for more. So if you enjoyed this one, leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel, you won't miss out. All the usual sayings on a YouTube video. But I do hope you enjoyed, because, well, that's kind of why I do this. And I feel like if they had a few more security cameras around, they could have seen Biddy Biddy help out a little with that armed um, post office robbery thing. Maybe that's why they're installing so many now, to not catch any criminals, but to find that elusive, helpful vigilante. Is she the Batman of this world? Maybe we'll find out in the future. But for now, get yourself some rest, so I can see you in the next one. My patrons are the tough life lesson that I'll probably have to look back on and realise exactly where I went wrong. But until that time, I only really need to thank them. So, Sal, Raywin, Electric Ant, Dunman 1997, She Ran, Jennifer Rojas, Mecca, Stinsfire, Big Boy, Dark Shadow, 7899, Mats, and everyone else. When I inevitably displease you, I'm stupid enough to not realise that I've done it, so you're gonna have to let me know. And also, I can't teleport, so don't run off too far.